In this video, we will look at other load wizards that you can use to generate snow and wind loads. Let's start with the snow loads and open the respective load wizard from the data navigator by double clicking here. In the new dialog box, we first select the Duopitch roof type. We can enter the roof corner nodes manually in the field below or, alternatively, click the respective symbol in the graphic. Another new feature in RFEM 6 that you can exclude individual roof surfaces from the loading in this dialog box. In the Parameters tab, we find the initially defined model parameters such as the location, load zone and so on. They can also be changed later by using this button. The next tab shows the number of load cases required for this wizard. This tab also includes all load cases that have already been created and assigned to this action category. In this case, this is the snow load case created by us. By clicking the button at the bottom left, RFEM generates the remaining load cases automatically. We confirm the entry by clicking OK and now we see the generated loads on the roof of the steel hall. You can find the automatically generated load cases in the list above. We also apply the same principle to the wind loads. We open the load wizard again, but this time for wind loads. First, we select the Duopitch roof type and, similarly to the snow loads, click the nodes of the roof. To reduce the number of load cases and thus also the number of load combinations, we can deactivate the opposite directions of the wind load in the main tab. You can find the properties of this load case in the Parameters tab. We have to specify the structure height here, otherwise no wind load case can be generated. In the Load Cases tab, we now have to create two new load cases because the first two were automatically recognized by RFEM and inserted here. However, we will use them for the lateral wind load in the next video. We can generate two new bare load cases by deactivating and reactivating the first two. Now, similarly to the snow load wizard, we can generate all load cases with just one click. If we are satisfied with the properties and parameters that have been entered, we also confirm this dialog box and now see the wind loads that have just been created on the structural analysis model. Thus, we have now generated snow and wind loads easily and conveniently using the load wizard. In the next video, we will discuss the load distribution. Till next time.